Hi, in this second mini video, I will provide you some information to be able to answer to question number two of the game How does our planet work climate? Here is Hélène Garnac. Question number two is Where is the Mediterranean climate located? Geographers, climatologists divide the surface of the Earth in three large climate zones. The tropical zone ranges from a 30 degrees north latitude and a 30 degrees south latitude. A temperate zone is found in both hemispheres between a 30 degrees latitude and a 60 degrees latitude, north and south. And a polar zone present in both hemispheres too is located between a 60 degrees latitude and a 90 degrees latitude, south and north. In each of these zones, one or more climates can be identified. Therefore, world climate maps will be more or less complicated. Here is one such map, a world climate map based on the Köppen climate classification. Several classifications exist. This one has been simplified from the original but still has eight identified climates. What is interesting is that some of these climates are related with latitudes. This is the case of the polar climate, which is located between 60 degrees and 90 degrees latitudes. Other climates, on the other hand, are more widely distributed. For example, the tropical climate in dark green on the map here. This also concerns the Mediterranean climate in pistachio green. This climate is located, as suggested by its name, around the Mediterranean Sea, but can also be found in other places on the Earth, as for example in California, in South Africa. I will give you a few characteristics for some of these climates without going into too many details. If we consider the desert climate, in red on the map. This climate is characterized by a small amount of precipitation throughout the year. Look at the two graphs here. The graph on the left shows temperatures for each month of the year. Minimum temperatures recorded every 24 hours in blue. It is of course an average over each month. Maximum temperatures recorded every 24 hours in red, also monthly averages. The graph on the right exhibits the quantity of precipitation in millimeter of water precipitated for each month of the year. We see that the amount of precipitation is very small throughout the year under a desert climate. But we can also notice that the average maximum temperature at Las Vegas in US is also at 15 degrees Celsius or above the year round. We are indeed under a hot desert climate. Hot and cold desert climates exist on the, on the planet. In both cases, Small quantities of precipitation is noticed all year round, but some have higher temperatures than the others. Here is the Rubu Al Kali Desert, also called the Empty Quarter in South Arabia. It is a hot desert where temperatures can reach or exceed 50 degrees Celsius during the summer but also descend under zero degrees Celsius in winter. The Gobi Desert is in turn a cold desert located in Mongolia and China. Its maximum temperatures can exceed 30 degrees Celsius during the day in summer. Its minimum temperatures can go below minus 40 degrees Celsius. If we look at two other climates, the tropical climate and the equatorial climate. These are two hot climates 
with maximum temperatures over 15 degrees Celsius throughout the year. But there are differences in their precipitation quantities. Under the tropical climate, we can identify a dry season and a humid season. Under the equatorial climate, heavy rain is happening during the whole year, so no dry season. Hence, similarities for the temperatures and differences for the precipitation. These two climates allow vegetation to grow very easily, and we will obviously have luxuriant vegetation under these two climates. Here is the end of the second mini video. You can find all the videos about this climate game on the blog at the address jeclimat.blogspot.ca. Have a nice day.